his agent said that since he was a kid, Kvaraskelia is dreaming of Real Madrid, he's a big Real Madrid fan. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel from Fabrizio Romano, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market, and today, guys, we touch on many different points. It's going to be Kvicha Kvaraskelia, he's doing fantastic in Serie A, but also what's going on with Chelsea and their young players, the future of young players, they are going to sign to more. And also, Paolo Dybala, release closes into his contract. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start uh, today's episode with something important to mention about Kvicha Kvaraskelia. I'm receiving tons of messages about Kvaraskelia because this guy, he's really special. He scored an incredible goal with Atalanta. He's destroying Serie A. Napoli will win the league after 33 years and Kvaraskelia is the face of this team, of course, together with Victor Osimhen. But Kvaraskelia is doing incredible. He scored again with Atalanta. Fantastic goal. It's 11 goals in Serie A, 11 assists in 22 games. So, Impressive. He's always producing something in Serie A, in Champions League. Unbelievable player. What's the situation? Many of you asking me about proposals, negotiations with Real Madrid and this kind of stuff. His agent said that since he was a kid, Kvaraskelia is dreaming of Real Madrid. He's a big Real Madrid fan. But the reality at the moment is that there are no negotiations at all between Real Madrid, Kvaraskelia or Napoli. And also... On Kvaraskelia, it's true that many top clubs are following him, he's a fantastic player, but Napoli are trying to extend this contract by offering him an improved salary, so Napoli will try to extend this contract. It's also true that, as for Ozyman, Napoli also in this moment don't want to negotiate for Kvaraskelia, so nothing will happen in March, in April, in May. If something will happen, it will be late in the summer, not now, absolutely. Napoli want to keep the player, want to offer him a new deal, and so let's see how it will go, but at the moment the only reality is that Kvara was a Real Madrid fan as a kid, but at the moment there is no time for negotiations with Napoli as they are fully focused on this season, and the same for Kvaraskelia, who is doing fantastic, so really congrats to Napoli, remember they spent 10 million euros for this boy. Roma in the summer, last summer, signed Paolo Di Bala on a free transfer from Juventus, of course, with an important commission and salary. But let me say one thing. There are two release clauses in the contract of Paolo Di Bala with Roma. The first release clause is for Italian clubs, 20 million euros. So any Italian club can sign Paolo Di Bala for 20 million euros. Roma could avoid this story in case they would bring the contract of Paolo Di Bala and the salary of Di Bala from 3.8 million euros net current salary to 6 million euros net salary. If Roma will do that, they would be able to avoid any move from Italian clubs for Paolo Di Bala with the release clause. But for extra Italian clubs and so from clubs from abroad, there is a clause of 12 million euros. This is important because clubs from abroad could sign Paolo Di Bala in the summer for 12 million euros. So this is a big opportunity on the market. Di Bala is doing very well with Roman with Mourinho, but at the moment it's also important to remember one point. It's not that you go there and trigger the close. The player is always a closer part and at the moment Di Bala is focused on Roma. So let's see if some club will try to sign him in the summer or if he will continue at Roma where he's doing very well and where he is very, very happy. Also important to mention about young players. Remember the name of Richards, uh, called Whisper, this boy born in 2005, Jamaican player, big talent. He is considered a really talented boy, wonder kid. Chelsea invested less than 1 million for this boy. He was really close to join Newcastle, but Chelsea were really fast in the final stages of the negotiation. And now the deal is signed and official. So one more talent for Chelsea is called Richards, Jamaica, 2005. Remember the name, very fast player with good qualities. He's a winger. And so Joe Shields, the director of Chelsea, was involved in this story. It was crucial to sign the player, but also, I told you, few uh, weeks ago about Kendry Pais, this top talent from Independiente del Valle, born in 2007. Guys, uh, this boy will be a Chelsea player very soon. The agreement is imminent. They're working on the final details of the deal, but Kendry Pais will play for Chelsea once he will turn 18. The same for Richards, this Jamaican player, Whisper Richards. And so Chelsea continue their young talents project. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Kvaraskelia, Paolo Di Bala, Young Players Project for Chelsea. I wait for your opinion. Here, as always, like this video, turn on the notification bell. As always, guys, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Ciao.